Now we're gonna need to go all the way to our left side here to earnings. And now here I'm gonna show you how I read this. So the last rider domestic statement came this week in January, 2021. And if you look right here on this chart here, you can see January, 2021 at the very top, you see my gross distribution number here, and you see the performance period of when these royalties were supposed to come from. So for example, if I had a performance from April 1st, 2020 to June 30, 2020, you would see the royalties from this period of performances. Now this is very strange because we're in the time of strangeness right now. So we have April to June 30, 2020, there weren't really many performances that were happening at this time. So what ASCAP did is they actually retrieved back to previous performances I had, which I'll mention later on in the video. And that actually accounted into my January 2021 rider distribution. So we'll continue on. We keep going down here. This is the chart for the gross royalties by performance categories. This number is not 2067 like it was up here and up here. This number is 1067. I'm gonna explain a little bit later why it's $1,000 less. So if we go through here, you see the percentage breakdown. You see 73% symphonic concerts. Okay, that's the biggest part of the pie. The second most is recitals, 15%. And the green here is internet, 7%. And then we have the blue educational concerts at 4.59%. So this is the total breakdown. Then on the right side here, we have top works. So these are the top earners. So if we see this list here, we only have one, two, three, four, five pieces. But in fact, there are nine pieces here in this statement. They only included the top five for some reason. So if I click on view all over here, we actually see all the pieces that were counted during this distribution cycle. So if you take a look here, we have my clarinet concerto. Here's the total here, $576.24. My other orchestra piece, Hoa, $210.33. And then we start getting into my chamber music, which which are smaller forces. So we're gonna have obviously less money associated with each of these performances. So Dori is my piece for flute, viola, and harp. We have here $76.81. And then we have Command Fantasy, my piece for violin and piano, $71 and so on. And it kind of goes down the list in this way. So now what we're gonna do is go back into the earnings area here. If we keep going down, we see performance categories. So if I click this performance categories, it shows the same breakdown from the pie chart up here. So you see it has the same four categories that I had, symphonic concerts, recitals, internet, and educational concerts. We keep going down. This is where the extra thousand dollars that we're missing came from. So we have a thousand dollars here in total awards. This I'll talk about later in the video what this thousand dollars is. So together with thousand and one thousand sixty seven point thirteen, we get two thousand sixty seven point thirteen as far as the rider domestic royalties I made in the second week of January 2021. If you want to see the actual breakdown of this beyond all these numbers here, what you need to do is head over to the left side here under earnings and click statements. Now we're gonna see all the statements that I had. We wanna see the January 2021 domestic statement. So if you go over here, click PDF. So right off the bat, we see that we are talking about my writer statement for January 2021. And you see that in the top right corner of the first page of the statement. Then heading down, you see my address, which I redacted here on the left side. Then on the right side, you see the royalty gross, which was $2,067.13. $1,000 of that was the ASCAP Plus Award. So that was the $1,000 that I mentioned before. If you don't know anything about this ASCAP Plus Award, you should check out my link down in the description below and watch that after this video. So we have here the account number that the money was sent to. So this is my bank account here. And then we move on to the next page. So now here we see our earnings summary page. At the top right, you see, again, what this statement is, the January 2021 rider domestic distribution. And then you see for what performances these were for. Again, because of the strange time that we're in right now, this is not gonna be 100% perfect, okay? As far as the actual performances that took place between April and June, there might be performances from before, but we'll see that later in the video. If you keep going down here, we have a type of right, so this is a performing right. We have the licensor, ASCAP, and then we have the territory. To our USA. Then the final two numbers are very important. You have total credits and the amount. Now these are very mysterious numbers. 
total credit means the credits that are assigned to each one of your pieces. And this is the total number of credits that ASCAP assigns. The amount is how much these credits amounted to at the end of their calculations. The way that ASCAP does this is very strange because the credits for some of my pieces fluctuate from year to year. So it's good to keep track of this credit number for each of your pieces as we go along. Right here is my year to date earnings summary. And you see here that for, of course, 2021, this is the first statement. So you're gonna see 2000 $67.13 in this domestic area. And then you'll see zero for the rest of the way, of course. This is the second week of January. We're moving on. The next page here shows all the different performance categories. I don't really write music for TV and film, and the royalties page definitely exemplifies that. You see that I don't have anything for ABC, Fox, Univision, local TV, cable TV, PBS, etc. But I do have monies coming from the internet. I have monies coming from symphonic concerts, recitals and education concerts because I'm in the field of classical music. If you're in the field of film or you're on some other field, you're gonna see royalties from the other categories. Whatever field you're in, you're gonna see the same statement. Moving on. Here now is my breakdown in each of those categories. So the first one is internet. Here we have internet, audio and music videos, YouTube settlement. I actually have no idea what this YouTube settlement money is, but I'm not gonna complain. It's $76, I'll take it. Moving on. Here we have the breakdown of the piece that came out of this YouTube settlement. So you see, it's not really that much money. We have all these different pieces, Azwaj, $2.21, Dori, $7.39. Then we have Hawa, $6.64, and then Command Fantasy, wow, $24.75. I promise these totals get bigger and bigger as we go through the video, but you see here that this YouTube settlement money wasn't really that much, okay? I'm assuming this is the money that was taken from pieces that I have up on my YouTube channel. All right, moving on. Now here we have my symphonic concerts breakdown. You see here the number is much larger because symphonic concerts are these big orchestral shows. Of course, the royalty amount should be much higher. $779.92. Moving on to the breakdown. So here we have two pieces, my clarinet concerto, which was performed on January 18, 2020, which is outside the bounds of April 1, 2020 to June 30, 2020. So there could be some discrepancies here. So that's why you really need to check out your statements and make sure everything is correct. Here we have the number of plays, two plays by this orchestra, the Princeton Symphony Orchestra. And this is the number of credits that are assigned, 73.87 credits. Then finally, the number that we all care about, the royalty amount, $576.23. This is for two plays. So if it was one play, it would be half that amount. I can't do math right now. It's somewhere on the order of $280, but that's what it would be for each play. Two last things that I didn't mention are the share percentage and the point award. Why does it say 50%? It says 50% because the writer owns 50% of this piece as far as the royalties are concerned, and the publisher owns the other 50%. So guess what? The publisher is going to get that other $576. Now, if you're not a publisher, guess what? You're going to lose that money. Either your publisher gets it or nobody gets it. Now, if you don't have a publisher, you should technically open up a publisher account and link your publisher account with your registered work. That way, when you get your publisher distribution, you're gonna get that other 50%. Usually the publisher distribution comes out a couple of weeks before the writer distribution. So in fact, I actually had this $576 from my December statement. So I already knew that this money was gonna come in. The next piece is Hawa, which again, this is another uh, symphonic piece. Here it has this strange thing, Proxy SY 2019 Symphony Performances. I actually don't know what this means. If anybody knows what this means, comment in the comment section below. I don't really know what this could possibly be. It was a performance on June 8, 2019. I have to go back in my records and see, but this is the money that I got here. 26 credits, which amounted to $203.68. So again, not complaining, but this is the money that came in for that performance. Again, June 8, 2019. This is out of the April 1, 2020 to June 30, 2020 performances. So there was something that was going on with this particular ASCAP distribution, which is quite a mystery, but 
here it is at least that we can all see together. Now, the very last thing I wanna mention on this page is the point award. We have BD48 for the clarinet concerto, and then we have BD18 for Hawa. So these designations are for the different types of pieces. I don't know specifically what BD48 stands for. I've been trying to find it on the ASCAP website. If anybody knows, please also write that in the comments. But this is something that I would like further clarification on. So this is BD48 for the clarinet concerto, and BD18 for Hawa. So they get two different kinds of credits here. Moving on. Here we have our third category, recitals. You see the number is not as small as the YouTube settlement, but not as big as the symphonic concerts, but it's a reasonable $161.97. And now we'll see the breakdown. So we have here the three performances of Dori, Command Fantasy, and Shifting Sands. Notice that the dates are all in 2019. So again, these were all performances that happened before that window of April 1 to June 30, 2020. And we see here the credit breakdown. You see that the credits are 8.89, 5.93, 5.93. So these are gonna be less credits than an orchestral work. And then you see the royalty amount, $69, $46, $46. Again, much smaller than the symphonic concerts. And then if you look lastly at the point award, we have BB9, B86, BB6. Again, these are different point awards because they're smaller pieces. Moving on educational concerts. This is gonna be the smallest category because ASCAP doesn't count every single concert you have at a university, for example. They actually do what is called a survey. So for example, they might take 10 of your works and only pick one of those works to be counted in the ASCAP statements, which is not that great. You know, obviously you wanna earn more money, but this is the way that ASCAP do does it. So we have $49 for educational concerts, and here's the breakdown. We just had one performance here for my piano trio, Thulathi, and we see here that the date of performance was February 28, 2020. Again, outside that realm, outside that range rather, of April 1, 2020 to June 30, 2020, right? And this piece was performed at Dickinson College, and the credits are 6.28, and the royalty amount is quite low, $48, but again, we'll take it. This was a performance that took place without me. I wasn't there. I didn't have to shell any money for this, so I'm happy with it. It was $48 of passive income, so to speak. So those are all my royalties for the month of January. I hope you got something out of it, and if you did, please consider leaving a like or even subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions about this entire process, please leave those down below in the comment section. And until next time, keep on writing, and even more importantly, take care of yourself.